Hey y'all, it's wash day, so uh, let's go. So this is Jessica, this is my girl, this is my natural hairstylist, and she is also a natural hairstylist educator. And girl, I am due for my treatment because we do treatment every six months. Yes, ma'am. So I met Jessica organically, and this is my natural hairstylist. I met yeah. her at a pop-up shop, and she was just expressing her love for natural hair and how she just loves to educate. And yeah. she showed me her client videos, y'all. She was like, look, see, this is what I do. And I was like, oh yeah. So so then we just connected and I just been going to her ever since. She did a big chop on me and then we are here today. So we're about to get started because I'm due for a treatment because this ponytail has to go. What's up y'all? So it's your girl DJ Styles Experience and I'm here with my beautiful client Kyra. She came to me on her healthy hair care journey. Yes. She was ready to start. And you know what? Taking this journey can be sometimes not as easy as we would like it, especially for someone like Kyra who's always on the go. Yeah. So, but my girl has been consistent and she is now seeing results. She's due for her treatment. And so we're gonna get her taken care of this evening. Y'all ready? Let's go. At first, you was like, Kyra, I'm gonna tell you, you ain't gonna get long hair overnight. No, you are it's not. It's gonna be a journey. And it's I was like, okay, I'm ready for the ride. So let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's go. Your hair journey is just like your life's journey. It's one step, one day at a time. Sometimes the best thing to do with our natural hair is just to let it be, let it breathe, wear it in its full natural state. Who don't like to see natural curls, you know? You've been doing some protective styles. I've been seeing you rocking your braids. Is, is, a, is a ponytail a protective hairstyle? I wouldn't say it's a protective protective hairstyle, but I would say it is a convenient hairstyle. Now, a lot mm. of hairstylists, they like to, or a lot of people like to wear ponytails, including myself, when we know that we need to either wash our hair or we need to get into the salon. But I don't encourage it for the everyday look, yeah. just for when you just have somewhere to go and you just need a real quick, chic style. A slick back ponytail is always cute. I actually love my hair pushed back. You do? Yeah. Can you tell me my hair looks sexy pushed back? Oh my god. What's that off of? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mean girls. Mean girls? Okay, you're gonna have to go up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> you give you know what? You know what? I could give you BAPS right now. BAPS is what I could give you. You remember when they was in the kitchen? I know doing BAPS, the but I actually don't even know any movie lines from that. I'm a movies line type of girl. What? Literally. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. And do you know, Natalie is from Alexandria, Louisiana, and that's exactly where I'm from. R.I.P. Natalie, we love you, girl. Oh, yeah, y'all. She's from the Bayou. Bayou I'm Princess. <laughs> Bada -bada. I'm from but the Bayou. But she didn't Bayou. know who Princess Tiana was. Like, Oh, my God. Yes, I did. She was I like, what's that? <laughs> she was like, oh. Who doesn't know Princess Tiana? You want me to bust out the song? Don't make me bust out the song. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I want my hair to be like this. She told me she when she like met me when she met me she said, Jess, I want my hair to my cheeks. I said, Oh Lord, we got a ride but to go. But she cut it like jaw length. The jaw first time. length. Oh yes. my goodness! And if y'all see her hair, it is amazing. I teared up when she showed it to me. Oh yeah, in between my installs, um, I was getting my hair braided. And the hairstylist, she was like, oh my God, your hair is so long. And I was like, oh my God, because I haven't seen my hair in like a month and a half until, you know, taking my braids out. And I was like, oh my God, I got to send this to my natural hairstylist. And it looks so. so good. You did an amazing job. We're doing an amazing job. Yeah. And I just appreciate the consistency. If I can say anything, be consistent with your natural hairstylist or with your healthy hair care stylist. That is so important. I mean, I get it. A lot of times we do have our go-tos for certain things. But when it comes to caring for your hair and scalp, always go to your healthy hair care stylist. You got to have that one, just one. Mm -hmm. to take care of your hair. Trim those ends, make sure your scalp is doing what it needs to do. Making sure that you're keeping it cleansed properly. A lot of people don't know how to properly shampoo. And so. she's old school. She like, old girl. Old school. I'm an educator, I'm old school. <laughs> when I first met her, it was instantly like a vibe from her. And I'm like, okay, I think she gonna take care of me just fine. I am from a small town. So small I town am- Small town girly. Yeah, small town girly doing big city things, okay? When you've been doing what you're doing 
for so long and you never really get recognized for you almost think is this really what I supposed to be doing mm -hmm. and I felt like that a lot of times and I've tried to walk away from doing hair a lot of times because I was like maybe this is not for me and I tried to go to insurance you know but I don't know hair just calls me and when I do it it comes so naturally so I can actually appreciate it when I have customers like Kyra and longtime customers and I have clients that fly to me here in Atlanta so you know that's that's exciting that's super exciting for me so let's talk about dating for a little bit what do you think a man wants to see with your hair do you think he likes you with extensions or he would love to see your natural hair I feel like he doesn't mind what I, you know, what I want to do. Obviously, a man loves to see a woman in her natural state. But yeah. honestly, whatever, your man should be like, okay, whatever makes you feel good, that's what I'm happy with. Mm -hmm. That's what most of the time they majority like. Yeah, they do, huh? But it's really not about them. It's about me. Because how you want me to show up for you and I don't even feel my best self. You know what I'm saying? Period. So if I want to wear weave or tracks, my quick weaves or my natural hair, you should accept that as such. Well, with these inches, he will. All right, y'all, we got the pony out. <laughs> Hang time. Um, I remember, I, you barely would remember when you first cut my hair, I barely was in, in a bun. Oh my And I can put it in a bun. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, that feels so good. Doesn't it feel good? Yeah, can you massage it? I sure will. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God, that feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best part. This gets me excited for the wash. I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And your scalp looks really good too. Look, now I'm getting all into it, y'all. Bending over to the side. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. guys so we are now at the shampoo bowl we are giving Kyra a really great rinse now I want to share something with you guys because Kyra had a ponytail in she had a lot of product build up on her hair so rinsing the hair allows me to open up that cuticle a little bit so her hair can not receive the product that I'm getting ready to place on it so I'm super excited to start out with her clarifying shampoo because if there's any buildup that's in the hair, that clarifying shampoo is going to get it out. So always rinse the hair for at least about a minute or two just to where I like to rinse it enough to where I can actually see the curl pattern coming in the hair. That's how I know that the product is being removed and I can go ahead and start my shampoo. So let's get started. a nice smell. Mm, I feel like this is gonna make a tingling sensation. It is and trust me guys you need that okay the consistency is very very thick and it has a nice foam it oh my gosh all right B <laughs> so what okay let's talk about it y'all come on sacred so what I like about it is that it comes out in a very thick consistency. So what that means is the product is going to adhere to the scalp and the hair very nicely. And the main thing I really do like about Sacred, right now I'm feeling the little crystals, the little exfoliant crystals. Oh my God, y'all, I'm about to go crazy right now. This is super exciting, B. You did a good one on this one. You did a good job. My grandfather got rested, so he used to say that when we did things the right way. You did a good job on this one, girl. Oh my God, y'all, look at that. Ooh, we gonna get her hair clean, y'all.
What I like to do when I'm clarifying the hair, I always like to put it on the scalp alone. Any Anytime I'm doing my clarifying shampoo, I just place it on the scalp and get a really nice cleanse on that scalp, removing any buildup, any yeast that may have built up over time through our sweat secretions, our product, just our natural oils. I like to make sure that scalp is squeaky clean. Then once I give it a nice little scrub, I emulsify the product all the way to the ends of the hair so I can get that hair clean as well. How you feeling, Kyra? I feel good. I'm relaxing. Good. I love to have my clients nice and quiet and relaxed because it's all about the experience, right? Beyonce, you did your big one on this one, girl. And I feel like Beyonce always wants us to have an experience with anything she puts out. This is how we're here for the experience. Thank you, Beyonce. Thank I haven't you. had my hair washed like this in a minute. Making sure that hair is nice and clean. See, and what I like about this, y'all, let's talk about it. You see how that is that lather is just so, oh, it's just like, I didn't have to add no extra water to try to make it lather up. This is just a clarifying shampoo. Like, I'm in awe. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I thought I was gonna have to run the water a little bit to try to get it to lather, to go all the way to the ends of her hair, but look at that. Oh my gosh, Beyonce! This is amazing. You just don't know, for a hairstylist, we look for great quality products. And we also, especially with inflation, we always try to make sure that we have a product that lasts. A little bit goes a long way, and the fact that I took a little bit of product just going through that scalp, and it's doing all this, 10 out of 10 for me with the clarifying shampoo. It feels amazing. It just feels like my scalp is getting very clean, and I can smell the peppermint. But honestly, Jessica Hands, she can do this all day for me. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. This is, oh my gosh, I'm excited. Like, I'm just big cheesing. So you're saying, obviously, I'm not a natural hairstylist or a hairstylist at that. I just wash my hair. Right. So you're basically saying the product, you didn't have to add too much water for it to activate. Right, exactly. That's always a good thing because you want your product to do its job. If I have to condense it or concentrate it with water, you know, that just means that, you know, the product may not have enough of its, uh, I don't know, main ingredients the, or enough ingredients or, so I have to use so much of it just to see what I need to see. But the real test is when you clarify your hair, after you clarify it, you should be able to hear your hair squeak. I like to call it the squeak test. Come on back for me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You feel it? Huh? <laughs> All right, so as you can see, that scalp is nice and clean. And it, the hair, when you hear that, that squeak, that means all the residue is gone. Good job, Beyonce. <laughs> hmm, it's giving me bubble bath. All right, smell that power. That's the hydrating shampoo. Yeah, it's giving me like fresh and clean. Yeah. But it smells like a musk is in here. Okay. Like a nice, masculine Like a floral musk, musk or? No, like a, a clean musk. A clean musk? Yeah, I like it. A little bit goes a long way. I like to emulsify my hydrating shampoo. And because her hair and scalp is already clean, I just like to start at the ends. Placing that product on those ends, making sure they get all that good hydration. Oh my gosh, look at that lather. Y'all, that's all I've done, was just rub it through and look at that lather. Beyonce, 10 out of 10 for the lather. 10s across the board? 10s across the board. And I just bring it all the way through. A little bit goes a long way with your product. Trust me, it works when you have inventory. So I just massage it all the way through. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. 
The texture of the shampoo is very nice and smooth. I love the way it smells. It's giving me fresh out of the spa vibes. I like that. I like my clients to feel like they're coming from the spa when they sit in my shampoo bowl. I can tell that her product is very hydrating because look how easy I can manipulate my fingers through Kyra's hair. 10 out of 10 for the hydrating shampoo. I've already scrubbed her scalp, so now it's just time to massage and manipulate, get that blood circulation going, and just keep our clients relaxed. And this is a great opportunity as well, especially if you're new to hairstyling, to detangle the hair while with a hydrating shampoo, because it gives you the good slip that you need. How you feeling, Kyra? I feel amazing. <laughs> I feel like as a black girl, we look forward to going to the salon and getting our hair washed. Of course. We actually hate when they don't have a wash with the service. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? I have to wash my own hair? Right. I think that's a new generation. And really, I think that's something that started with braiders. That, doesn't, that wasn't supposed to carry over into the full service salon industry. I think that's something people do because they want to, you know, make it easy on themselves. But the truth mm -hmm. is, you want to connect with your client at the bowl. Like, this is a time where you talk to them about their life, what they're going through, if they're going through anything, or better yet, just let your hands do the talking. Because sometimes we know with mental issues and mental health issues going on in the world today sometimes people just need a peace and quiet and i know miss Kyrie, y'all she be traveling <laughs> so she, i know she need that peace and quiet honestly this is a luxury for me and getting my hair washed simple simple things like this is a luxury for me really yes wow i feel like luxury is what you make it like yeah. going on a walk is a luxury. Just having a little bitty piece of heaven. And coming to you is a luxury. I'm gonna go ahead and get her rinsed out. This is gonna be the good part. Oh, look at that phone. <laughs> nice and shiny her hair feels so soft i know y'all probably see kyra has some straight pieces and that's okay that doesn't mean that the hair is damaged or something is you know she's losing her curl pattern that's just for styling purposes and that can come back just with the right treatment protein treatment and hydration treatment and with this shampoo how soft it is kyra's curls can come back in no time but that shine is amazing now this is the reconstructing mask. I like it. You like it? It's not too overpowering. It's very soft. All right, and the viscosity of it is a little loose, so I like that for a reconstructor. So it's not gonna be too thick. Very nice and smooth. And for someone with me, and Kyra has medium dense hair. So even though her she has a lot of hair, but it's very fine texture, this is great for her hair because it will not weigh her hair down in any way. What I like to do is just go over the hair slightly, making sure all the product is in the hair. I don't like to go too close to the scalp when I'm doing the conditioner because her natural oils can pull. So I just like to make sure I put the product on the hair. And Kyra's had a lot of protective styles lately, so she's going to need that extra protein. All right, so with our protein treatment, we're going to leave that on for 20 minutes. As she sits under the dryer, and then we're going to come back and check out the results. Hi, Simone. Can I get an um, espresso martini sent to my room? Um, nope, that's it. Um, extra cream. Yeah, and shaken, not stirred. Thank you so much. Hi 
guys, so we have revitalized and reconstructed Kyra's hair with this sacred reconstructor conditioner. And her hair feels really good. It's a, a reconstructor is a protein builder and the cuticle needs that, especially after it has been manipulated a lot. So Kyra has had a lot of protective styles with her braids and things like that. So using that uh, reconstructor really helped build that cuticle up and give it the strength that it needs to to last and to be durable and so she can just wear it in any kind of style she likes. And her curls are looking really good. I like the way her curls look. Her hair is feeling very soft. And again, I know you see some straight pieces on Kyra's hair, but don't worry. That's why, ladies, it is so important to get your ends trimmed and make sure that you're checking in with your healthy hair care stylist at least once every six months, okay? Right, so what we're gonna do is get started with our sacred moisturizing sealing lotion. And of course, we all have to do the smell test. Very nice. You want to smell, Kyra? Yes, of course. Of I got to smell what's going on in my hair. Mmm. <laughs> all of her stuff smells so good, y'all. This just smells so fresh and just... It's giving very spa, very clean. Yeah, like very clean. Mm -hmm. All right, so a little bit goes a long way. That is how much I'm gonna be putting in Kyra's hair. You never wanna put too much product because then it defeats the purpose of everything that we went through, which was the clarifying, the hydrating, and the reconstructing. I always, always, always like to put it on the ends. And this even feels like a little bit too much because again, Kyra is a medium density girl. She has a lot of hair, but it's very fine texture. And I'm just gonna start on those ends, making sure I get that product evenly distributed all throughout the hair. I'm not going to touch the scalp. I only want to keep it on her hair. And this is going on really smooth. And what I like about it, it disappears. I don't even see it. Can you see it? I don't see it. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And yes, guys, I'm a little bit heavy handed, but it's with love. So don't think I'll be rough. Yeah, if she you... over here rocking me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can rock me to sleep. So I'm going to go in with my dimming brush. Anytime that you're getting ready to detangle your client, you always want to start at the ends. And what I'm seeing with this sealing lotion in her hair, the brush is easily going through. Man, my distractions. <laughs> I'm really loving the way this lotion is smelling. It really smells good. Have y'all ever been to the salon with your mom or your grandma or your aunties and you just smell like the salon? Fresh haircut, fresh relaxer. It just smells so good. That's what it I smells like. I love that. Like. My I'm, hair was this short, y'all. That is crazy. She cut it this short. I could barely put it in a bun. Barely put it in a bun. That is so crazy. So what we're gonna do is go through the blow drying process. But outside of my awkward smells for the hair salon, what I really love to smell is hairspray. I, I like, like the, hairspray too. I like the way hairspray smell. I would say my favorite awkward scent is probably the nail salon. Hmm. Cause I love getting my nails done. Period. So I don't know why like that fresh acrylic smell i don't get acrylics no more i get gel oh but that, the drill you know when you get it drilled it's like a scent to it mm -hmm. and it's like wow i'm about to get a fresh set oh my god our hair smells so good Okay, y'all, I got to say, 10 out of freaking 10 with this moisturizer silicone. Look how lightweight her hair is. Like, that is amazing. That is a freaking amazing. Let's link check. That is crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. The shrinkage is real, my darling. Can y'all, like... Envision my hair up this long. Yes, ma'am. Just wait. The end of this year, maybe. I don't yeah, know. We're, gonna we're gonna see. Oh my gosh, Kyra. We're already talking about the natural hairstyles she thinks I should do. I kind of want to get the style she has in her hair right now. What is that called? This is a twist out. I should get a twist out. I have vacations coming. I may wear my natural hair. 
Who knows? But Who knows? Girl, we got inches on deck, period. We got inches on deck, y'all. Because I need to really start wearing my natural hair. Like, I want to be able to, like, blow dry my hair whenever I want to, flat iron it. And just, you know, and wear, like, natural styles without heat. I may wear my natural hair in my next vacation. You never know. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we have just finished blowing Kyra out with the moisture sealing lotion. Her hair is light, it has body, so I cannot wait to silk her out, y'all. So we're gonna finish up the process with the nourishing oil, the sacred nourishing oil. I'm super excited to use it, and remember, a little bit goes a long way. I'm not too fond of oils too much, guys, because sometimes they get a little bit weighty. So I'm just gonna do maybe two or three drops. You don't need a whole lot. And it comes out very slow. I'm okay with that because when a product comes out very fast or too quick, it just leaves you feeling like having wasted product on your hands. I don't want that. So we always are gonna emulsify before we put it in. Y'all, the oil has disappeared in my hands. Oh my gosh, so I'm super excited. So I always make sure I just slide it through the ends because we always want to seal in that moisture, place it all over. And I never touch the scalp when I am putting oil on my client's hair. The reason being, because their natural oils are still gonna come through, so it won't need any help. I just like to put place the oil on the hair. And voila, you're done. So let's get started. With our styling, Kyra's gonna do a side part press tonight. Kyra's hair is really soft, y'all, so. I'm vibing with Sacred tonight. The products are amazing. What you think, Cairo? I like them. I just can't wait to see the final result. Well, let's get started. baby hairs but they're really real like i'm a, like a slick back baby hair girl like you got the real baby hairs like back in the day how your mama used to do that Thank you. 
as y'all can see, the hair is shining, 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 shining. Yeah, I love sacred. Okay, let me tell y'all, so hydrating, revitalizing, transformative. And also my favorite treatment was definitely the reconstructive treatment mask. So light, but so effective. So my hair looks so amazing. Sacred is 10 out of 10. And y'all ain't gotta go home, but y'all gotta get the out of here. And till next time, until the next wash day. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite like scent? Like awkward scent? Oh my God. You know how some people love gasoline? Should I say this on camera? Yes, go for it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I really love the smell of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why you let me say that? I would say my favorite awkward scent is probably the nail salon. Another scent I love for her next treat. Her note. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but no, I. <laughs> Kyra, don't laugh at me. What happened, girl? She got this all sewed up. Oh, we <laughs> You want what's part of? It ain't going nowhere. Good, because I know I like to get a pull. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> the night will be the night that I will fall for you. Come on. I'm about to put the oil on. Y'all girls know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they know. You know too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do know. That's crazy. I just want to go to sleep. We are one. Come on. Mm. Okay, B. Mm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you just loosened it for me. And she's going to... <laughs> what? <are you> <laughs> like... <laughs> Follow us. Why did I say follow us? Cut that, don't, don't do that. <laughs> that. That was crazy. Why did I say follow us? Like they doing too much. Yeah. They're making cereal from scratch. Help me. <laughs> she just stayed in there. And when you had it. <laughs> this is probably not gonna make it. What? Men's balls. Oh, <laughs> thank you for that. I love that. <laughs> We can blur that out.